What is going on, guys? Welcome to the second ever cook-off between me and my brother. This is the very first trout cook-off. Last time it was a crappie cook-off. This time we are rolling trout. We are along the river. We are on our longboards, and we are gonna fish some brand new fishing spots. We fished this river before. Never fish these spots, seeking out new trout areas, and then after we catch some fish, we're gonna do a little cook-off, and my dad is gonna be the judge. All right, first spot of the day. Let's check it out. My brother has a net with him, a little net that he, he got it specially for this trip because he's gonna try to catch like grasshoppers and stuff like that. Uh, in addition to spinners and everything, he's gonna try to catch some uh, trout on live grasshoppers or whatever bugs he can find. Huh, we're, let's try this spot. My first lure choice of the day is this little Meps Aglia. Now that blade is painted blue and pink there. That might be a little uh, bold for the river. Might be a little too flashy. And then they got that bright orange bit on it. So, but we're gonna give it a go first and see if the trout will go for that. Might have to tone down my color selection. First cast of the day. Okay. All right, YouTube fam. So Ace is already out in the water. Let me show you what I'm using today. I've got this little like gold chrome with a little black and a red rooster tail going on. This is like a classic color. In fact, this is one of the first uh, spinners I ever threw as a little kid. I remember being like five, six years old, throwing this bad boy, one of the first lures I ever threw and kind of learned uh, learned how to uh, do like cast out reel in spinning instead of just um, instead of just bait fishing. So we're gonna go for a tried and true classic. Let's see if we can't uh, hook up on some trout. So we're in the middle of September, but that water's had all summer to heat up. So it's actually feeling pretty nice out here. Guys, guess what? I just spotted this big grasshopper. This big grasshopper. And he's just walking, he's not hopping. Oh, he's hopping now. Oh, he knows what's up. I got him. <laughs> Guys, I got a big old grasshopper. We are gonna use this guy for bait. There we go. I got him in my pocket. Oops, <laughs> I didn't mean to bash my pocket. Anyway, I have him in my pocket. We'll uh, get to the next spot and we'll use a grasshopper. All right, here we go, guys. That is trout candy right there. That, that's not candy, that's a steak. That would be like lowering a big old ribeye down to me. I mean, I just wouldn't be able to resist. All right, so we're switching it up. I'm gonna throw this little brown trout colored jerk bait. Brown trout in the river typically are a little bit more aggressive than the than the rainbow trout. And a lot of times the rainbow trout, you have to go through six or seven rainbow trout before you actually get a decent sized one. The brown trout in this river, usually one out of every two is a decent sized fish. So we're gonna throw this bad boy and see if we can't uh, target the brownies. The other thing I like about this jerk bait is I can get down a little bit deeper and I think that might be a key today. Let's get into that deeper water a little bit, get down maybe even a little bit more level with those trout. Let's see if we can find a crawdad here. Wait, here's one. <laughs> right there. Guys, I'm gonna use that for bait. I'm, I'm not getting anything on the lures. All right, so I took a rock and killed him, and that's what I've got right there is that tail meat right there. That's what I want. There you go, and now I just, I've taken that meat out of the tail. Nice, soft piece, almost a little bit of a red tint to it. And throw that on a little circle hook and cast it out there. There he is. Oh, sh oh my gosh, he broke off. Oh, I had him. I had him. I gotta find another crawdad. There we go. Here's another one. Bam, look at that. Nice bit of tail meat. That's awesome. That's right what we want. All right. Guys, that's crazy. Like two casts in, I already lose my bait with the crawdad. I love that crawdad drop. Oh, won't you see that? <laughs> Holy mackerel. Just came up and nailed it. Not very big. That was pretty cool. It's not a keeper. Pretty fish. Not a bad fish, but he's probably only about 10 or 11 inches, so alas, he will go free. So I found one down there. Got him. I don't know if he's any better or not. Not quite. Dang it. Still not the size we're looking for. 
Another pretty fish, but just not any size. Dang it. This guy's <laughs> We moved to a different spot. Micah brought this little net. We're gonna try to catch some grasshoppers. First, first, and I got him. Hello? Yes, I got him. Do we have something to put him in, or we just, I'll just put him in my pocket. Let's check this out. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Whoa, got him. Look at that, big old snake. Woohoo. There he goes. Really? Yeah. A lot of them out this time of year. They're feeding on those hoppers is what they're doing. Yeah, probably. So after trying grasshoppers and all kinds of other baits, guys, I've just gone back to a classic MEPS. I think I'm just going to live or die today by the spinner. We're just going to use spinners until we find something that works because these fish just don't want grasshoppers or anything else right now that I can that I've been using. What the? Are you kidding me? It's a, it's a little, it's a brown, is that a brown trout? Well, for, <laughs> it's not the size we're looking for because it is a teeny tiny brown trout. Skunk is off my back, I guess. Let's first cast this spot. Let's see if there's uh if his parents are out there. Got one, got one. Oh, it's another small one. I don't know if it's lure or location. But we got a lure that's working, that's good. There we go guys, a little trout, a little squeak. We'll let this guy go. Now, let's get a big one. Come on, big one, I know you're out there. Oh guys, I got one, got one, got one. Why oh, didn't think he was that big at first. Oh, it's a keeper, it's a keeper, it's a keeper. Come on, come on baby. Come on, baby. Oh, please be a wild one. I need a wild one because those taste the best. My dad is going to dig. Yes. I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's 14. And it's a wild one, guys. We got a wild keeper, I believe. Yes. Okay. Okay. We got to measure him. Just stay right there, buddy. Oh, no, it's not 14. It's about 11 and a half. Dang it. Man, that is such a beautiful, beautiful fish, but not a keeper, unfortunately, guys. Oh, there he goes. Hey, you. There he goes. Shoot. Ow, man. Wishful thinking. Got a little bit too excited. Gosh, in order for me to even compete in this cook-off, I need to catch a trout. Ooh, there's a crud under this rock. Got him. Oh, it's a good one. There we go, little monster. First crawl out of the day. You know, I better catch some of these because uh, I'm gonna need some of these to go with my trout meal that hopefully I'll eventually catch. My uh, meal, I'm actually gonna include a couple of crawdads in my dish today, uh, assuming I can catch a trout. Got one, got one. Ooh, feels decent. Ooh, boys. I see some flashing down there in the water. Feels like a heavier fish. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a heavier fish. It's kind of hard to tell in this current, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's not a giant. All these fish, to me, today have been feeling like giants when they first latch on. And then it's just the current, mostly. Oh, this is a decent trout. Oh, this is going to be close to a keeper. Come on, if I can land it, if I can land it. Right in the corner of the mouth. Yes, guys, that is a gorgeous trout. It just has to be long enough. We're short again, I think. This is like 13 and some inches, darn it. Okay, sounds good. So, Mike in over here. Mike has his wetsuit on. He's going to go. It's time to go subsurface. He's going to go subsurface and do some hand line fishing. Good luck. Guys. All right, you too. Good luck. All right, guys. The, we're moved to a different spot. The great spot about this is from this bridge downstream. You, there's no, there are no, uh, there's no size limit to these fish. 
do. That's good. Hopefully we'll catch some keepers. All right, guys, like I told my brother Ace, I'm getting ready to go subsurface. I've got the wetsuit on. Ace is over there fishing. I'm gonna just drop in right down here. I've got my little hand line, little circle hook on there. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can get down there, catch a crawdad, use it for bait, uh, because it's kind of the 11th hour. I've gotta get a fish. Uh, neither Ace or I have a fish yet. So this is kind of a latch stitch effort, but I've got a pretty good feeling about it. Guys, it doesn't get any more hands on than hand line fishing for trout. The first thing I have to do though, is I've got to get some bait, which today will be crawdad. So I'm just turning over rocks until boom, find a nice crawdad. In fact, there are a couple of them down there. Just pick them up. It's a nice natural bait in this river. He's got my thumb skin there. That really hurts because those little boogers are sure strong. I usually wear gloves, but when I'm handling fishing, I like to be able to have uh, uh, have my fingers free. Now I'm gonna dispatch this crawdad really quickly with a rock, kill him. I just peel the tail off, pop the tail meat out right there. You can see that the tailless carcass go floating down the river. I threaded on a little circle hook on four pound test line with a little split shot and you can see the little white bait there go drifting down in the current. A super fun way of catching fish and I got a little one on here almost immediately and this is a, it's actually pretty tricky uh, to reel these guys in. This guy, little guy right here is only about 10 inches or so so I let him go because I'm pretty confident. I, there are a lot of trout down here when I'm snorkeling I can see a lot of them so I let him go and almost like five minutes later I nail this guy he's a little bit bigger probably right at about 12 inches and like I said it's super difficult actually getting these guys in because you're trying to trying to wind that line back around the spool and a lot of times you're giving them slack and it's just a lot trickier than it looks but I'm able to haul this fish out of the river onto the bank that is a pretty looking rainbow trout and I finally had some fish to eat Guys, check this out, check this out. I was just walking along and there are deer right up here. We are right in the middle of the city. You guys see all of these uh, blackberry bushes. And then the deer are right over there. They have a lot of stuff to eat around here. Oh, hey, you didn't see that one right there. That must be the mom right there. And that must be the baby. That's my guess. They're just chilling. I mean, look how close. Look how close I am to them. Hey. What's up? Oh, they're moving on now. Well, that is very cool. But uh, I'm going to leave them alone for now and let them do whatever they're doing there. Not really sure what that is. Hey, sorry. I took a step and scared her. All right, I'll see you. So my brother is over there on the other side. He is still handline fishing. You can see his head sticking up. Right over there. I'm gonna try casting over here, I guess. Maybe gather a few crawdads. Hopefully he has enough trout for me because I still don't have a trout in the live well, so to speak. So I have an idea. I actually talked to Papa on the phone. Okay. And he said, uh, whatever you guys want to do, he said, if you guys just want to have your own little cookout cook out or anything like that, he said he's totally fine. What I'm thinking is due to the lack of trout, yeah. we just, you want to gather like a few crawdads and I'll bring my cooking stuff over. I'll go over, grab my cooking stuff, okay. and we can just cook some stuff right on the riverbank here. Okay, cool. I'll, grab, so, I'll start to, uh, are, are you going to go grab your cooking stuff? Yeah, I'll grab the cooking stuff. If you want to gather, I'll get you my bag. It has, um, well, I've used some of them for bait, so it only has two crawdads oh, in it. Tons of them down yeah, so sounds good. I'll get you the bag and then I'll run and get my cooking stuff.
So Mike has been gathering the craws. You can see right behind me there. I went and grabbed the cooking stuff that's in this backpack and I am gonna fire up the little stove top and we're gonna cook up some trout and crawfish. There will be no cook off today, guys. Sorry about that. We just don't have the meat for it. We don't have the fish. So anyway, that's the way that's fishing way fishing goes sometimes. We will just do it another time. <laughs> you were down in the water for a long time. Yeah. There you go. Well, nice. That's nice stuff. salvages. They weren't doing the yeah. cook off, but this will be fun little cook out oh, yeah. on the oh, river. Yeah. Oh yeah, you we should. Fairly nice one for like a hundred bucks. So I don't want to go where we went last year and caught zero fish. Right. But if we want to go up to Cascade and perch fish, I am all in. Yeah. Guys, we have some Dan O's original here, which was given to me by a subscriber. Um, a girl who loves her horses, loves equestrian pursuit. She gave me her Instagram and I looked at it and it is lovely. And we will add some Dan O's to this side. This should be tasty. Thank you so much. I love trying new spices. Never tried this before. And then we'll add some salt, guys. There. All right, le trout. I think it is done. I think. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Cooked in a brand new seasoning. Ooh, look at that right there. Dude, it's very it pleasing smell? to the sensory glands. Mm. Fresh caught. Mm. Man, that's good. I don't know where you're pulling all these spices out of, bro, but that's for the win right there. That's good. That's delicious. Oh, oh yeah. Is it, uh, it says it's supposed to be a little, have a kick, like spice to it, I think. Yeah, there is a little spice to it. Kind of coming in at the end. Yeah, it says spicy actually right on top, I see. Mm-hmm. I'm getting ribs too. Nice. Mm, delish. Fresh, Fresh tr trout. Let's boil up the crawdads. Oh, let's get some water out of the river here. That is a great idea. Micah just said we should catch and cook one of these ducks. I mean, there can't be an ordinance to get that, no. right? I mean, come on. It's wildlife. There are tons of ducks here. How'd you like it, brother? Dude, that was. I'm, I'm actually like trying to grab the skin <laughs> because it's got that seasoning on it. Mm hmm. I'm digging that seasoning. The seasoning's good. Dude, mm -hmm. if you just turn around and you just jump on that duck right there. I could we'll, ride him. We'll turn this into a duck catch and cook. Ooh, little man. Wait, what is that? You know, if, if we were out in the wild, we'd grab that bird and... I, I would feed him a bit of this, but it's so spicy. I'd probably end up like accidentally doing the duck in, give up the ghost right in front of us. <laughs> and then, you know, a fishing game officer would just like come plummeting out of the trees and be like, I saw that. <laughs> Dude, I just saw this. I saw some deer. Oh, great. I saw like four deer. <laughs> yeah, I can't help that. Did she eat any? No, she got something. Um, we should uh, catch a coke of deer. Just lay a deer snare right in the middle of the city. <laughs> yeah, be like, so, so far nobody's caught us. <laughs> We've got it cleaned. And now. <laughs> All right, so water's almost boiling. We're gonna add some of the Dan O's right to the water. Wow, Dan O's for the win. Dude, if you tame that duck, we can take it home, fatten it up, and I don't think they can fine you for eating your pets. I so. Don't think so. You know, Thanksgiving's right around the corner. Dude, we should just save That's it. Duck dude, dude, she's like a foot away from you. You could just grab her, and then we'll put her in a sack, take her home, domesticate her. And then just feed her all kinds of good stuff for Thanksgiving. There you go. Put in little Zatarans, by the way. Hey, you. I think she wants some of these crawdads. I wonder if duck is good bait. <laughs> you know, good trout bait, maybe? Catfish bait, definitely. Yeah, a catfish would eat a duck. Use some of the feathers for a jig, <laughs> you know? Make your own lures. All right, brother. Dude. Guys, water is boiling. Micah caught all the, oh, well, I, I caught two. That was Not my contribution. Do you want me to just dump them all in? Just or? dump them all in. All I don't know once. if they're going to fit. Oh, heads up. Water, hot boiling water splashing. Go on in, guys. They're like hanging on. There we go, thanks. Guys, it's just a, it's just a hot tub, man. On a nice chilly fall day. Here, let me. There we go. 
No, yeah, yeah. anyway. Yeah. I'm gonna grab those other two. We've got escapees. We got, you, we got escapees on the run. A little hot tub there, there you go. All right, so we got all the crawdads in. Let's get him all the way in. Into boiling water. Boy, it's amazing how, how fast some of them turn red and yeah. how some fast other ones like don't. It's crazy. Oh boy, so we got floating crawdads. Should be just about done. Oh, maybe a little bit more there. Usually right here when it separates the tail from the carapace. But uh, they aren't separated too much at the moment. We'll let them cook just a little bit more. I got my brand new tongs right here, boys. We're gonna pluck the crawdads that look done out. And that dude looks done. Because some of them look done and some of them don't. Do you do on taste? Taste, All right. test, see if they are tasty. Let's do this right here. I'm actually just gonna pluck one out. Look at that. That's mm. what you're after right there. That's the kind of color we've been getting lately. <laughs> so, let's pull the crawdad out. So we're just gonna toss him out. Hope the ducks are going after it. Well, they would. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna peel this tail. Look at this big old piece of meat. These are some big old crawdads in this river. Look at that. I mean, look at that compared to my thumb. It's a, like stretched out. It's like a, almost a thumb-sized piece of meat. All right, bro. Oh. Cooked to perfection. Dude, I'm getting the all the spices and everything in there. That was a really well done crawdad. I'm getting Excellent. more. Excellent. Oh yeah, the crawdads are done. I think they're like they sucking on it. Look at that. Ducks are eating our crawfish bits, guys. That is crazy. I'm not feeding, the, I'm not, <laughs> if for anybody who wants to know, I am actually legit I'm not feeding the ducks. They're doing this on their own. Mm, bro, cheers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cheers. To summer, uh, end of summer. End of summer, indeed. Yes. Wah, 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 wah. It's been a good ride, though. It's been a good ride. Guys, days are starting to get colder. Yeah. Shorter. Dude, it's probably like, what, 75 right now or so, mm. would you guess? I mean, it's, it's getting yes. chilly for sure. It gets dark like 7.30 now instead of like 9.30. Yeah. Oh, it's too bad. He just spit that out. They're, they're like actually, sucking on it. Yeah, they're like sucking on it. They actually, the ducks are not actually eating the crawdads. They like grab it in the mouth and they spit it out. But they keep doing it over and over again, so it must be good. They enjoy your cooking, bro. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. This one, since it's covered in seasoning, we're going to try sucking the head again. Last time I did it, it wasn't too bad. This one's really hot. I think, I think you're supposed to like crunch the crawdad as you, so that way the juices come out. That's actually pretty good. It's just really spicy. <laughs> That's actually not too bad. Not, that, that's legit. That's legit. Not bad at all, huh? All right, guys, watch this. So these ducks. Hey, ducky. You want want some of this? Watch. They just eat it a little bit, and it's like they're just trying to get the seasoning off. That is so fun. I don't blame them. That's good seasoning. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, right here, we're going to put a playlist of Catch Cook videos, and then right here, I'm going to put Micah's channel, so make sure you go check those out. First, check out my playlist, though, and then check out his channel. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this day on the river, and we will see you in the next one.